Hi everyone, it is time for a new video and today is going to be my first official Christmas reading vlog and I'm so excited. This vlog I think might be a little bit shorter than my normal ones because I do want to get it up as soon as possible. Once I stop talking now, I am going to show you some footage of decorating and also a tiny bit of Christmas shopping, so there's gonna be quite a bit of b-roll. You can see my winter wonderland here. <laughs> then we're gonna read some books. So I think right now I'm gonna mention a few books that I want to start with and then we're gonna get to the decorating. But before I talk about books, I have something super exciting that I need to do first. So my mom got this absolutely stunning um, calendar for me and I am so happy because this is um, definitely an upgrade from chocolates, <laughs> though I do obviously love those as well. And so it opens like a book, basically, and it looks like this. And it is a Yankee Candle um, candle calendar, and I am super excited. I had one last year, and it was amazing. This one looks so much cooler. I know there's like a candle holder, and I don't know if it's gonna have a candle as well. I'm excited. It looks bigger than the one last year. Oh my gosh. There is a candle in it. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Like, there's just something so wonderful about having something to look forward to every day. Um, and this is such a cool candle holder and there is a candle in it and it's not even a tiny one It's like the bigger one. This is the scent twinkling lights it Smells amazing. Oh my god. So that's this super excited. I also just realized that I forgot to light up the candle but next time um, let's talk about the books so um, do I remember the names of them? I really should have looked it up before. I'm just gonna have to put it up on the screen because I my laptop is turned off. I'm so sorry I'm already failing. <laughs> but um, the first book that is a Christmas book that I really want to pick up is something, there's Santa in the title, and it's by Adriana Herrera, and this is basically a sapphic novella, and it's kind of paranormal. It's like, you know, with Santa and like all of that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, I don't know anything else about it, but I don't think I'm gonna necessarily even say anything more about it, because it's just, you know, it's like 70 pages, it's sapphic, it's Christmassy, and I'm super excited to pick it up. It's also on Kindle Unlimited, so this is one of the first books that I'm gonna be starting. The next one that I think is actually gonna be the first book, because that is even shorter, and it should be, like, maybe... 20 30 pages so super short and that is the newest book by Allie Williams so basically she has this series that um has this is the sixth book now and all of it is just short stories and they're just super soft and super steamy and just like I love them and so this came out today all of them have been coming out on the first day of every month and that has been such a wonderful thing to look forward to and every single time I've read it on the first day of the month and I just love it. It's a tradition that I've been loving so much and so this is a sapphic one once again and this doesn't have anything to do with Christmas. I I don't know if it does actually. I don't think it does, but it is Best Friends to Lovers and it's basically like um, set during a movie night, so it's still just like super cozy anyways, and I just really want to read it. So obviously I'm not going to only read Christmas books, um, but I do want to read a lot of them the entire month, and so it's just going to be, you know, like sprinkled in everywhere. <laughs> the last book that I want to start today is an audiobook that came out today, one of my most anticipated releases, and I actually think I might remember the title, and I think Gentleman Seek's Bride by Megan Frampton. Sorry if I said it wrong. <laughs> I absolutely love Megan and I absolutely love this series. I don't know anything about this really, but <laughs> I don't need to know anything about it. I It's a historical romance and this series, this whole series is just like every single book is just so fun and um, like romantic and steamy and quick to read and just so addicting and I love all the characters and I just cannot wait. So these are my reading plans for now. I do definitely want to also talk more 
about movies this month because we actually started watching Christmas movies, especially like Hallmark movies with my mom at the end of October and it's been the best time ever. This update has been pretty long so let's now get to the decorating and then after that I'm going to catch up with you when I have some updates. <music> to update you on but I did finish um, the short story by Allie Williams that I think it might be called Catching On but all the titles in the series are like something on and I kind of mix them up sometimes um, so I read this, flew through it, and it was so much fun. This whole series of short stories is just so soft and so quick to read, and it's like cute and steamy at the same time, and I always fly through it, and it's just such a great time. So, um, yeah, this is a sapphic best friends to lovers one, and it's cozy and cute and steamy, and I had so much fun with it, and then I made a tiny bit of progress with the Santa story, but not a lot. So I can't really tell you much more about it, but I do want to read it tonight. I don't know if I'll read the entire thing. We'll see, but I want to make some progress with it. I also watched a Christmas movie. Like I said, I kind of want to talk more about movies as well. And um, it was called 8-Bit, I think. I wasn't impressed. <laughs> 
I didn't love this. It's set in the 80s and it's about like the main character is narrating his like life in the 80s and especially his like search after getting a Nintendo and that's kind of like the whole plot and it was just kind of it felt really long and it was a little bit boring and I didn't love that one but you know not everything can be good it's fine <laughs> so I think that's all that I oh yeah one more thing that I thought was just really funny is you know I lit up the candle that I opened earlier and I was looking at it and I was telling my mom like oh my gosh it's actually not like melting outside it's just like actually like melting in a really neat way and then I look at the candle and this is how it oh my gosh it fell <laughs> we'll see what I end up reading today <laughs> There's a book that I've been looking forward to so much and like actively thinking about how much I wanted to read it and everything and today I saw someone added to their TBR on Goodreads and I was like I need to check when this book is coming out because it could be soon and it was today. The book is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Elise and it came out today and I just finished it. <laughs> so I was like, I need this immediately. I'm dropping everything. And it's basically like a Kobo original. If you don't know Kobo, it's just, um, it's a free app. You can either get the ebook or there's um, an audiobook as well. And they do have a free trial on Kobo. And so I ended up doing that. And it was just so good. It was a short audiobook as well. And I was just like, this is perfect. And I didn't even expect to read the entire thing. But once I started, I could not stop. I literally read this in one sitting. I didn't, I literally didn't even stop. Even when I like needed something or, you know, like when you stop reading to eat or whatever. I didn't because I had the audiobook. I could even move. Because I have um, AirPods now. <laughs> and so I literally kept on listening the entire time. So I haven't even said what the book is actually about. So obviously it is a Christmas book. And it is about our two main characters who are co-workers at this bookstore that is just kind of in, in trouble. And they don't really like each other. And they end up having this deal that they're going to like... Um, see who sells more copies in the month of December and stuff like that. And at the same time, this book does have the um, you've got mail trope. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically that like the couple is um, kind of rivals in real life and don't like each other. And then they are actually friends online and like haven't met yet and don't know their like each other's identity entirely. And so I recently figured out why I absolutely adore this trope because I am actually like working on a book and writing a book with this trope because for years it's been one of my favorite things ever. Here's the thing, you know, enemies to lovers and best friends to lovers 
are one of the main like polar opposites in tropes and there are people who love enemies to lovers and there are people who are best friends to lovers stands and I'm absolutely, I like, if I had to choose, I think at this point I would pick best friends to lovers, but I absolutely love both. And in this trope, you can get both because like in real life, they're enemies to lovers and then like online, they're friends to lovers. And so like having both of these tropes at the same time, like this is just genius. And at the same time, I absolutely adore like any kind of like texts or things like that in books. And so the combination of that is just incredible and like, oh my god, I need every single book with this trope ever. And if you would like me to make a recommendation video of books that have this, let me know. And I actually still haven't watched the actual movie. <laughs> Absolutely adored this book. It was just like the perfect mixture of like swan worthy and fun and cute and romantic and sweet and um steamy as well and just absolute perfection and also the heroine is um demisexual and autistic and the hero has diabetes so we have that representation and i'm always on the hunt for neurodivergent main characters and it was just perfection. Like, I could not stop reading it. I had that, like, giddy, fangirly feeling the entire time, which is just the best thing ever. And so this was the best thing to start, like, my Christmas reading with, and I am so happy. So it is midnight now. I actually was considering making a video right now, so I'm still not entirely sure if I should, but <laughs> before I forget, there's something I forgot to mention earlier, because I actually read a manga earlier. It is called In Your Eternity? Um, something like that. I really need to do a better job at checking titles beforehand and oh my god. But yes, so this is a manga that I'm pretty sure I ran into when I went on a binge of like finding Kindle deals and like what books were for free and I loved the cover of this one and I'm pretty sure I didn't even look at what it was about and when I picked it up today I still didn't look into what it was about. And I can't even tell you <laughs> what it was about because like this book is so hard to describe and I'm not even going to try. Um, and I think I enjoyed it, but I was also extremely confused the entire time. And now that might be my fault and not the fault of the book. I definitely don't think it's a bad book, but I just like... I was struggling to process what was happening. I think it would have helped me if I looked it up before, but like, again, you know, it's fine. I liked the art and oh my gosh, like one little quick thing when it comes to that. Um, <laughs> I was like thinking when I was reading that, you know, um, that um, I don't fully love when graphic novels or comics or manga or anything of that sort is black and white. And that reminds me of like, it happened once specifically, but I'm pretty sure it happened multiple times that I was talking to one of my best friends about Heartstopper, which is black and white. And I was, I think, I'd, I don't know if I was like talking about another book, but either way, I said something that meant that Heartstopper isn't black and white and that I love that or something along those lines. And she was like, it is actually black and white. And so it was wild how my brain painted the colors on it to the extent that I remembered it with colors. So that was cool. That was fun. <laughs> Let me know if you like do that or not. Um, so yeah, I do prefer that, but that is just, you know, a matter of preference, not the book. So um, if you want, like, a unique story that's, like, fantastical and, um, I, I do think, like, it partially isn't completely clear what's happening, um, so it's not just me entirely, then I think you should check this out. And, yeah, like, it definitely wasn't a bad book. I just, you know...
Hi everyone, so it's the next morning. It's not even 10 p.m. and I'm not even ready. My hair is kind of a mess and I don't have any makeup on. I am trying to film without makeup more often because um, my skin has been really bad and, you know, I feel like um, it's hard not to feel self-conscious about that, but I want to change that. So, I don't have any reading updates yet because last night I just ended up going to sleep and I um, this morning I had to feed my cats. <laughs> And um, then I had to do like this little task. I had to just fill in some things to uh, send over to kind of end the internship that I was doing. Um, but what I'm here to do is to open day two of my calendar. So I don't think I'm going to like document and film every single day of opening this. But, you know, we're on day two. I started this. I'm filming this. So we might as well. So I don't know where to put my phone that is a terrible angle <laughs> but i'm just gonna like you know open it and then take my phone up again i just love it so much so <laughs> oh my god heidi knocked over my phone okay let's try this again <laughs> she's so cute oh my gosh it's so funny the way my cats um, just like need to see every weird new thing I'm doing. You want a candle? The candle is this one. So this is the scent Letters to Santa. Ooh, that smells really nice. Okay, I love that. I do, I do know there is one Yankee candle or like there's multiple, but like one that I unfortunately got recently that I ended up hating the smell of. But I do like and love most of their scents and super excited to light this today i'm gonna stop talking about candles now and i do want to read a lot today so still don't know what entirely but i'm gonna talk to you soon with some actual reading a while later and I have a few updates so first let's talk about books I finished Her Night with Sienna by Adriana Herrera and this actually turned out to be even shorter than it looks um because there's like a lot of bonus content in like the end of the ebook and so it's actually literally like 45 pages or something so it's a really short little story and it's just it's sapphic it's really steamy fun and quick to read there's not really more to it so if that is something that you're looking for then i think it's a great book and i would recommend it and the other book that i'm so excited for and i'm kind of confused and i don't know if i mentioned it in this video um because i mentioned it in my T christmas tbr video but i don't know if i talked about it in here <laughs> Either way, that book is A Wedding One Christmas by Therese Biari, and like, oh my god, this book, I was just so captivated by the cover, it's so beautiful, love the vibes, and I have been wanting to read books by Therese for so long. So this one I have as an audiobook on Scribd, and um, I was just like, let's do this, and I got to like 30% 
and I'm already having so much fun with it and I'm so excited because you know I already read the mistletoe motive and that was such a blast and I didn't expect another like super exciting incredible book right away <laughs> but this is wonderful this is like so good it is about angie and ezra and angie basically finds herself at this wedding that like she doesn't know any anyone at but she just kind of stumbles into it and she's wearing a dress that is similar to like the bridesmaids dresses and so she gets mistaken for a bridesmaid and sh she keeps trying to like get out of there but then like this one guy like asks her questions and he's like you know you should get back to like having photos taken and all that kind of stuff and so she keeps trying to get out of it and she uh, ends up sitting at the table of a guy who she says is her boyfriend <laughs> so she like sits down um and asks him if she can like you know sit with him for a while to like not have to talk to that guy anymore and they start a conversation and like a really long conversation and the way they interact right away is just I was so here for it and it is just so lovely and I think it's gonna be really like romantic and sweet and just so fun and I just I I can't wait to get back to it and I am starting to panic <laughs> I have a lot of videos that I'm working on that I need to get done super super soon and I'm starting to panic about like not having enough time anymore and so I don't know if I shouldn't like um stop this vlog soon but I also like want to finish this because I'm loving it so much um need to figure that out so I'm not sure how much more I'll be able to read in here but I have read some wonderful things already and I can't wait to read more and seriously like I'm even more excited to read books by Therese now because like I just I you know do you let me know do you have a feeling of like you know you see an author and you like see books by them it's like an author that generally has a vibe that I'm like oh my gosh I just know I'm gonna love their books and <laughs> that is what I had with Therese Viari and Chloe Elise as well actually and it was even to a point where I was like I felt like I've already read their books but I haven't. <laughs> so I just had such a strong feeling I would love them and I'm absolutely loving them and so I'm so happy because I'm gonna have two wonderful authors that I can read more books by and I'm ready. So before I go actually I have watched some things. I, I watched, I ended up watching two Christmas movies with my mom today and the first one was Single All the Way, which is a new Netflix movie. It has a, like, male-male relationship, and it was really cute. It was fun. It's a best friends to lovers type of thing. It was definitely one of the better ones. There, <laughs> Netflix tends to be, like, when it comes to their original Christmas movies, it tends to be a very hit or miss for me. This was more of a hit for sure, so... Yes. And the other one was a Hallmark movie and that was the Christmas Stakeout. And so I didn't look into it at all. I didn't realize that it's like a detective type of thing that the two main characters are kind of like it's like a hate to love type of thing and they have to team up to work on a case together so do love like enemies teaming up type of thing um don't love like detective stuff and like solving cases all that much but it wasn't like a super like I mean it, it was a part of it obviously but I didn't hate it it was cute still had those Christmas vibes I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorites but it's also also not like one of my least favorite Hallmark movies. It's like just average but like good and fun. Whatever. <laughs> Let me know if you watch Hallmark movies or like Hallmark type movies. What are your favorites? Because I never like on I only like more actively started watching them last year and I want to like explore all of them and actually find good ones because there are some gems. For sure. Everyone, so it is the next day and I'm here to wrap up this vlog. So I didn't want to end it yet and I really wanted to finish a wedding one Christmas and you know, but it is still, I feel like, quite a long enough vlog and I've still read amazing things and I'm absolutely exhausted today 
because I went shopping and I just got home and it's only 6 p.m. and I could still read a lot but there's a video that I need to get done by tomorrow night and like have it ready to be uploaded on Sunday and I just <laughs> am starting to get really exhausted and anxious about everything and I think it's just best if I end this vlog here but I still hope that it was fun to watch and I've had so much fun making it and I'm definitely gonna be finishing a wedding one Christmas super soon and I absolutely still recommend you check it out like there's no chance I'm gonna end up not liking it like I just love it so much I the only question is you know like whether it's gonna be like a four star or a five star but I know it's gonna be a wonderful book and so I highly recommend you check it out I am definitely gonna be making a lot of Christmas vlogs this entire month so it's fine. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you made it this far in the video, leave a Christmas tree emoji down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great month and I'm going to see you soon in another video. Bye!